Good, good, Jamie. Play across, play across, play back. You'll never win anything with kids. But that's the famous statement. When it got announced, the previous youngest manager messaged me to say that I broke his record. My name's Bailey Hanlon, I'm 22 years old, and I'm the senior team manager at Coosyth Athletic. There's not many guys my age in senior football. I think I'm the youngest manager maybe by about 10 years. Three, two, one, play. Good, Jack, good, good, good. Go on in. I started playing football when I was four, I think, maybe. And then it was sixth year at school, started doing a wee bit of coaching, volunteering. Just kind of went from there. Good, lads, well done, well done. The previous manager asked me to come in and just do a wee bit of coaching. And then last year, he asked me to be his assistant. And then, probably end of February, he made his mind up, I'm going to finish. Good. There was a great coaching team in place already. So to get somebody else outside coming in, you'd maybe want to place on him. We didn't know what to do on that road. Ian Morton, club secretary at Colesive Athletic. When we first spoke to Bailey, it took a wee bit of time for him to make that decision. I just didn't think I was ready. Like, I was fine coaching the players, but I just thought that I didn't want to put myself in certain situations, like dropping boys and then you maybe meet them in the pub on a Saturday night and they're coming up to you and I was like, oh, no, I don't know. Maybe if, like, a, a guy that comes in and he's 35, he's maybe got two or three kids. I can't maybe relate to that. Yes, Johnny, good, good, good. But it's just like, you know what, if I, if I fail, I fail. But you'd be stupid not to, like, it's a great opportunity. We didn't even think about his age. If you're good enough, then you should be put in that position. Boys, hey, flat markers, let's go. You know, like, it's a great response for the players, and the players seem to need a wee bit extra for him. Right, Norm Bibbs can start 2 3 1. Yellows play 1 4 1. Ah, oh, Fraser, on the telly. We had actually had a giggle about it in the changing rooms, never actually thinking anything would come of it. When the news did break, it was a bit of a shock, but not a shock in the sense that we didn't feel he was right for the job. He's, he's the perfect guy for the job. Lives and breathes football every minute of the day. This is what he's meant to do, and you can see that from a mile away. I think he's a top, top coach. His preparation for match days and training days, his coaching ethos, you know, the way that the team plays football, it's always play out for the back, you know, it's always plenty of touches. My age hasn't been an obstacle yet, but I'm kind of not naive enough to think that that won't come up at some point. There might come a point where I've got to coach a guy that's maybe 10 years older than me, and there would probably be a challenge of getting him to convince and kind of believe in me. There's probably an advantage where all the guys that are my age, I kind of know what they're going through. There's been a few questions. You know, why is a 22-year-old taking over that important role and stuff? But what difference does it make whether he's 22 or 42? Right, boys, pick up your white markers, six of them. Go and grab a drink. When you're coming back over in here, bring the bibs over for me. I try not to think too far ahead. I try and stay quite grounded and just focus on what I can control the now. I hope that he does well, and I think he will, but we still to prove that. Lads, just get all the gear in, head inside. I had reservations about this, and then now looking back, I'm just thinking, like, why? Why was I doubting myself? Like, I, I, I believe in myself. I would say to anybody, whether they're young or old or whatever, just if you get an opportunity, just jump, jump head on in.